Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today I'm gonna be talking about the new update that came out to Call of Duty World War II. So last night, Michael Kondry did announce that today a couple of weapon changes were gonna be happening, and a lot of these guns that got changed were the meta of the game, but if you were expecting this to be the 1.08 update, it's not, this was just a playlist update. So basically, you had to log onto the game instead of waiting for a few minutes to download on the dashboard. So starting off with these two weapons, I'm really, really happy that they got a, a buff and they are the MP40 and the M1928. The MP40 is actually pretty damn good now. I mean, it was pretty okay at first, but now it's really, really good. And the M1928 just shreds up close. However, with this increased fire rate, it does come with an increased recoil. So if you guys can control the recoil then uh, these weapons are going to be very very good for you a lot of players are saying the m1928 is better than the ppsh but i haven't used that gun too much in order to make a final decision so uh, i am definitely welcome to the idea that these two subs are buffed but uh, again i'm gonna have to make a final decision to see whether or not the m1928 is better than the ppsh but then i saw the fg42 was getting another nerf and when i first saw that i was a little bit upset at this and then when i got my hands on the weapon i I soon found out that it definitely is so trash right now. Sledgehammer Games has completely ruined this weapon. And uh, personally, I felt that the FG was perfect even after the first nerf it received. But now the gun is horrible, the fire rate is bad, and uh, definitely it's not going to be used anymore in the competitive scene. And then lastly, they also nerfed the damage to the machine pistol. Now, where did we see these two weapons be used the most? If you guys don't pay attention to the competitive side of COD, then just know that the FG42 and the machine pistol were the two weapons that were used the most at CWL Dallas last week. And I guarantee that Sledgehammer just saw that these two weapons were used the most and then they just thought to themselves, oh, we gotta nerf these weapons, but it shouldn't be like that. If Sledgehammer is gonna be nerfing weapons, especially ones that don't need it then, at least look at the casual player's data and I guarantee that the majority of players would say that the FG42 was perfect, but now it's literally trash. It's not even usable any anymore. And it's really upsetting to me to know that the competitive community has such a huge influence on the path this game has because there are a lot of other weapons that are downright trash and I feel those weapons should be getting a bit more attention. Weapons like the SVT or the Gewehr need a huge buff or the terrible sprint out times. These issues are what Sledgehammer needs to be looking at. These are issues that affect the player base entirely instead of just one portion. Uh, for example, the competitive community with this. Uh, I feel that the Sledgehammer game is really pays attention attention to the competitive side the most because they even have people that were once a part of the competitive scene working for them so uh, they definitely do have a huge influence on this game now if you guys didn't know there will be double xp tomorrow but only for the war map operation griffin and in zombies and there's also going to be double division xp so that's going to be really nice and then also country did kind of hit towards a nerf in the footstep volume so uh, this here is an example a perfect example on something that the majority of the player base agrees with because I'm looking at the replies to this tweet here and it seems like both the competitive community and the casual players are all in content with this fix to the footstep volume. So again, I feel that if Sledgehammer is going to be adding nerfs or buffs, they need to collect data from both sides of the community first. But guys, tell me your thoughts down below in the comments along with the new patch update. Also drop a like if you guys did enjoy the video and thanks for watching. Till next time, I'll see you later.